So good morning. My name is Don Pandrick. I'm uh, visiting here from Santa Fe. I've been here most of this month, continuing till next Sunday. So glad that you're here this morning. So how many of you are new to meditation? A few folks? Okay. So I'll give a little bit of additional instruction then in terms of what we're doing. So we only have about a half hour for meditation, which might seem like a long time in some ways, but it's also actually quite brief. So what we're going to do today is kind of one continuous meditation, but we're going to break it into kind of two parts. And in Tibetan Buddhism, we talk about two main types of meditation. The first one is kind of making our minds very stable by focusing on one thing in particular. And what we're going to do for that is use the breath, because the breath is with us all the time, breathing in, breathing out. So I'll give some instruction on that. And then in the second part of the meditation, we're going to do what's called an analytical meditation, which is a fancy word for thinking. We're just going to use our thoughts and kind of generate some thoughts, particularly around this idea of taking joy in things in our lives. This is a really wonderful little practice that uh, helps us to kind of feel very enthused about life and about what life affords. And this will be even the topic of what we have uh, in our talk today at 11 o'clock will be the joy of living fully. So it'll be kind of continuing into that talk if you'd like to stay for that. So the first thing is just to check your posture. So for meditation, it is good if you can have the back straight. So it doesn't mean that you overly straighten the back like you're standing at attention, but just find that place where the spine is naturally upright. And in that position, hopefully you don't have to use much tension then in the lower back or the abdomen to hold yourself in this posture. You can just relax into this posture of being upright. So the feet, if you're sitting in a chair, it's good if the feet can be flat on the ground in front of you. Um, if that's not comfortable, then certainly place them wherever uh, you do find that they're comfortable. The hands can be in the lap, the traditional posture is with the palms up, the right on top of the left, and then the thumbs gently touching, and this is just kind of cradled in the lap. It's a little bit of space between the arms and the body. This allows air to flow around the body, kind of keeps you from getting too warm. The head is upright, just kind of on top of the spine, and tilted forward very slightly. Just tuck in the chin just a little bit and bring your gaze downward. And it is good if you can keep the eyelids very slightly open. We don't meditate with the eyes fully open, but if you allow a little bit of light in, then that will keep the mind alert and awake. And if you need to close the eyes, if it's not comfortable keeping them slightly open, then by all means do that. And a few other elements of posture, it's good to make sure that the mouth and the jaw are relaxed. You can place the tongue on the upper palate with the tip of the tongue just behind your two front teeth. And just rest there. This is uh, said to be good to reduce the amount of saliva you produce in your mouth so that you don't have to swallow quite as often. And then also bring your awareness to the neck and shoulder area, making sure that you're relaxing any tension that you feel there, kind of letting go of that, softening into that area. So maybe take a few deep breaths, kind of controlling the breath by breathing in very deeply, filling up the entire body as if you're expanding every cell in the body. And then on the exhalation, just let out any other tension that you feel in the body, letting go also of any preoccupations you might have in your mind, any worries, things that are going on that you're planning for, all this type of stuff that we carry around in our heads a lot. So just breathe in very deeply, and then on the exhalation, just let all of that go. So we're going to do this first part, as I said, is a meditation on the breath. And so many of you may already have a technique that you use with the breath. And if not, what I'm going to suggest is tuning into the sensation that occurs just inside the tip of the nose and the nostrils. Sometimes even people feel it on the upper lip. But it's that, that sensation that occurs as you breathe in and out through the nose. It's very subtle at first. If you're new to meditation, it might take a little bit to identify where that sensation is occurring and to tune into it. But the main instruction for this meditation is simply to stay present with that sensation at the tip of the nose, through the inhalation, through the exhalation. 
that no doubt the mind will wander. Even though we might feel like we've let go of some of our preoccupations, no doubt thoughts will come into the mind. Suddenly we're thinking about a grocery list for later today or something else that happened last week that we are still remembering and recalling, or we might even get distracted by sounds. Whatever it is that occurs that pulls you away from the breath, when you see that that's happened, then let go of that and return the mind back to the breath. So very simple instructions, but be very gentle with yourself as you do.